Hi, this is uh, Donovan's Blizzard. She's a two-year-old Donovan Pincher. She had previously graduated from a pet training program where not a lot of detail was paid, uh, a lot, not a lot of attention was paid to the detail or the style or form of her performance, but rather just that she was functionally listened. Uh, the owner was slightly heavy-handed with her, which kind of caused her obedience to be a little inattentive and maybe even slightly repressed. Jennifer is making an attempt at retraining Blizzard so that her obedience looks a little bit more upbeat and uh, because that's what we're used to as trainers. And uh, here she is in a moment. She has some food rewards on her. Um, the previous trainer rarely used food reward um, when he was working with her, except in the early stage when he was initially training her. Um, and we're gonna make an attempt at trying to pick up her spirit and her attentiveness a little bit. And uh, Jennifer, you can begin with that whenever you're ready. The good thing about Blizzard is that her drive, like for food and rewards is high, so it makes my job a little bit easier. Uh, right now I'm using cheese, and some dogs you have to use meat. With Blizzard cheese will work. Um, I guess Donovan, would you like me to start on like doing what we do? I think, I think biologically the dog has a high natural trainability, so I think that her obedience uh, issues are very correctable and they've already improved some in the week or so that Jennifer has been working with the dog. Why don't you start with bringing the dog into the heel position, Jen? And heel. Heel. And then rewarding her when she's in the correct position and then releasing her. Okay. Play with her a little bit, a little bit more playing with her. And then, and then suddenly call her back into the heel again. Let her look at you a few seconds and then release her. Okay. Good girl. That time I didn't even use anything. I'm just releasing her on me. I would do that several times. If that looks good, you could try a little bit of movement in the heel. Heel. You were a second late on that correction. She looked away. A little bit slow on that correction? Yes, try to correct her the second she looks away. There you go, make sure that she's straight in position. Pay her for that, give her a little reward for that. Then try your move again, but go a little slower this time, just a few steps. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sit. 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 Okay, what she's doing here is she's, you're doing so much come to heel that she's now confusing the sit position with the heel position. That's a separate issue. I would not work those two things together. I would, I would stay away from the sitting for right now and just work on the, she's sniffing the ground, don't allow that. Don't allow that. No, do not allow that at all under any circumstances. Heel. You should have paused and taken some time to reinforce her. Okay. Although the overall looks better, you should have paused and taken some time to reward her for coming to the heel position before you went into the movement. Before I even move? Yes, each segment has to be reinforced separately. Heel. Okay. Heel. If she comes straight into this position, you reward that, let her make eye contact with you. Then try a little bit of moving heel. No, don't jerk the leash unless she looks away.
think I think slowly this is looking better. Do it again, call her back into heel position. She seems to be getting that idea better. Pay her a little bit there. You should have rewarded her in this sit position before you began to move, like I pointed out to you a moment ago. Let's end it on one good note. You can see she has a good enthusiasm for the toy reward as well as the food. So she is very adaptable. Give her a little tug to bring, encourage her to bring the toy to you to play with you. Small toy, there you go. Out her from the toy. You can use the food to help you. Call her to the heel position. Your leash is not in a good position for you to correct her there. Stand straighter, your, your whole body is twisted toward the dog. Tell her heel, even if she's standing still next to you, say heel and don't move. She should look up at you. When she looks up at you, release her. Yeah. Be careful, you're turning your body toward her and you're rewarding her with your opposite hand, your, with your right hand. That will, make, okay, that will make the dog have a tendency to go across your body, okay. looking for the reward from the opposite hand. Yeah. You have to say the command first, then the correction. There you go, very good, that looks very good. Make her look at you. And make sure she's looking at you when you release her. Heel. Heel. Correct her. Heel. Harder. Now wait, and then release. Okay. Oh girl, listen. 